Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Explanation. So in today's video, I am going to cover uh, the topic from Nepal Engineering Counseling exam for Computer Engineering and I am going to cover topic 10.6 that is Engineering Regulatory Body that is Nepal Engineering Council Acts and Regulation. Okay, so I have prepared a note as well as MCQ question for this. So in this video, I will be covering the note and in next video, I will be covering the MCQ question. So this is the note for the topic 10.6 which is Engineering Regulatory Body that is Nepal Engineering Council NEC Act and Regulation. So first of all we have to go with Nepal Engineering Council Act 2055 or 1999 AD. So the Nepal Engineering Council Act is the primary resolution that established the NEC as a statutory body we can say the act. Okay. The act outlines the objective and functions and powers of the council. So, um, as I have seen, the main point for this topic is this objective, functions and powers of the council. So, its key provision include, first provision is establishment of Nepal Engineering Council as a regulatory body for the engineering profession in Nepal. So, this Nepal Engineering Council is basically for engineering profession. First point. Second is setting the objective of the council which include promoting and regulating the engineering profession. Okay. So second objective is to promote and to regulate the engineering profession, maintaining professional standards and safeguarding the public interest. Okay. So after you take this council exam, we will be a um, we will be setting a professional standard for engineering. Third one is defining the composition and structure of council, including the appointment and roles of council members. Fourth one is outlining the function of council such as registration and renewal of engineer. Okay, so if you want to register as an engineer, if you want to renew as an engineer, so this NEC is uh, function, NEC does this function and establishment of professional standards, accreditation of engineering programs and disciplinary action. So if you are going to accredite any engineering program, so this NEC comes into the act. Next one is providing the council with powers to make necessary regulation and guidelines for carrying out its function. Okay, so from, from this part MCQ question can be asked. So we'll see the MCQ question later. Next one is Nepal Engineering Council Regulation that is 2056 or 2018. So these regulations were formulated by NEC to provide detailed procedure and requirement for registration and renewal of engineers. So they can ask you MCQ question, why was this act, um, this regulation formed? In order, to, in order to provide the registration and renewal of engineers. They cover various categories of engineers including professional engineer, associate engineer and sub engineers. So the regulations specify the eligibility criteria, documentation requirement and fee for the registration. So this is the main function of this regulation, this 2005-06 or 2080 regulation. They also outline the procedure for renewal, cancellation and suspension of registration. Okay, so this all will come during the MCQ, so remember these points. Next one is Nepal Engineering Council Code of Conduct, okay, so Code of Conduct, remember Code of Conduct was established in 2058 or 2180 and the regulation was established in 2056 or 2080. So the Code of Conduct, as the name tell, Code of Conduct, it deals with the ethics, okay, ethics. So the Code of Conduct sets ethical standard and professional responsibility for the engineers registered with the NEC. It defines the expected conduct and behavior of engineers. Okay, so ethic basically means how you are going to work in field. Okay, what are the rules how you are going to work? What are the behavior of an engineer? In order to ensure the professional integrity and protect public interest. The code covers areas such as, so what are the areas that is covered by this code? They are honesty. Okay, honesty integrity, professional competence, confidentiality, conflict of interest, obligations toward the society and environment. So you have to be an honest engineer and you have to follow all these properties. Next one is Nepal Engineering Council Accreditation Regulation 2059 or 2002 AD. So what does this accreditation regulation covers? So this regulation established the criteria and procedure for accrediting engineering program offered by educational institution in Nepal. The aim is to ensure that the program meet the required standard of education and training for the aspiring engineer. Okay, so the, reg reg the regulations define the accreditation process including the eligibility criteria, documentation requirement, evaluation procedure and duration of this accreditation. 
okay so what training and what is the standard of education for engineer and what are the training that they are going to get so it provide all the um, requirement regarding to this so next one is nepal engineering council continuing professional development which is called cpd in short form it was established in 2068 or 2011 so please remember the dates for all this okay this can be one question so the council continuing professional development or the cpd which is continuing professional development provide a framework for lifelong learning and professional development for engineer they outline the required for engineer to increase in continuous learning activity to maintain their professional competence okay so it is basically dealing with the training and the learning process of an engineer throughout their life the guidelines specify the types of cpd activities the minimum cpd credit hours to be earned and the reporting and verification of procedure so this act and regulation collectively form the legal framework for nepal engineering council so all the above acts that we discussed they form a legal framework for nepal engineering council and governs various aspects of engineering profession in nepal okay so why we need all this regulation and guidelines in order to provide a quality engineering profession in order to in order to make the engineering profession a quality profession along with all the ethics okay all the regulations we can say all the um, like rules and regulation we can say or code of conduct or ethics we can say okay so we studied around five act first one is nepal engineering council act 2055 1990 second one is nepal engineering council regulation 2056 third one is nepal engineering council code of conduct 2058 and fourth one is nepal engineering council accreditation regulation 2059 and last one is nepal engineering council continuing professional development that is cpd 20 60 okay so that was all about the theory related to this 10.6 and in next video i'll be discussing the mcq of this 10.6 okay so please be in touch and thank you take care